ways. One is it's uh, it's from a different character here, but you can you can notice there that uh, like one guy has a roll bone right in the middle of his of his uh, leg, the other guy has just a single bone. One guy has three, four spine joints. One guy has three. And this guy actually has a uh, completely different clavicle. In fact, he doesn't even have a clavicle, whereas this guy does have a clavicle. The feet look different as well. So I've got very different not only joint structure, but I've actually got different proportions as well. And I'll exaggerate that in a second. But basically, as long as I've identified these characters as human IK characters, I can go into my human IK window, and they'll show up in the character pipe. The character pipe is basically where I feed one character into another, or we target. So I'm basically going to make my collector, this guy, the source, or rather the target object, and for the source, I'm going to use this animation. So now I just simply go in and say apply retarget. And there we go. I've got a direct connection between my two characters. If I play this back, you can see that wherever the original character goes, he will follow. Let me change my frames here a little bit. Almost done. I want to show a couple more things. So this is a live retarget. So it looks like he's just like co copied the animation, basically. But what's really happening is I've got a dynamic live retarget. So if I were to go in and change him, I can actually do this while it's playing back. If I were to go in and change his size, it's actually going to change the uh, retarget to compensate for his size. So now when I play this back and he's larger, he's gonna cover a, like a broader jump. Or if he's walking, he's gonna have a longer gait if he's, a, if he's a large character versus a small character. I can take it a step further, and I can actually come in here and I can say, well, what I really wanna do is actually, even though he's a smaller character, I wanna have him follow the target character's feet. So I can basically go into the master retarget node, and I can just simply change a few settings in here. One simple setting is, uh, force actor space compensation. So instead of like compensating for his size, now it's actually going to try to match the character no matter what. So if I play this back, you can see here that even if he's a really small guy, he's still going to try to follow the feet of that target character. Or, uh, likewise, if I scale him up, if he's a really tall guy, he's still going to follow the feet of that character. So I could have a dwarf basically animated and I could retarget that to a giant, essentially. So you can also add animation layers on this. I don't have time to go into, to, into that right now, but the Maya animation layer system allows you to 